world of surveillance, everybody should just realize that you have no privacy at all and that everybody is being filmed all the time and you better just film everything too and put it all out there. Be radically transparent. And I said, nobody has anything to hide for the most part, but we still deserve privacy. But since it's being taken away from us, there's no way that our law enforcement, our so-called law enforcement, should have privacy. They're unaccountable if they do. Officer Unmarked, what is your name and why are you up on us? The reason I started filming the police is because I'm a white person with some resources. How come you don't have your badges out if you're cuffing that guy? I can afford to get a good lawyer. And I'm asking you to stop cuffing And I'm saying thank you for asking me, but I'll have to say it's my and legal right. you think you're accomplishing that? If I can't assert my rights, nobody can. This is how they incite a riot. They always start picking on girls. And then one day when I was filming the police in you know, the regular course of my day, I was wrongfully arrested. He grabbed my camera. I was screaming, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Then he had to manhandle her like that, like she was a piece of meat. One cop came up to the front and turned the radio up really loud so that nobody could hear anything I said. They'd put me in a cell. There was vomit all over the sink and the toilet. And freezing. Then they took me to Bellevue for a psychiatric evaluation. It's crazy that now, I couldn't believe what they did to her. I didn't really imagine that this could happen. It's case 114CB052617 near Deborah Goodman against the city of New York. <laughs> The more that I look like a radical for insisting on our rights to do things like that, the more we lose.